Hi, I just wanted to give you a basic DIY for your own universal Picket 2 uh, programmer adapter. So you can program 40 pin, 28 and 18 pin pick micros, whether they be 16Fs or 18Fs. So to do that, I've just brought a, uh, a simple proto board. And you can get all the links and stuff from my site. And on the proto board, I've got a couple of zip sockets with a 40 pin zip socket and an 18 pin zip socket. And I'm also going to use uh, a cut off piece of headers. There's five pins there because that's what I need for my picket two to program my picks. So I've just arranged the zip sockets in a in a place that's easy to use. Uh, the 40 pin zip socket. I did have some issues with that because there are a large number of pins, and I didn't keep it in the best storage. But some of the pins weren't too straight. So as I put it in, I used this tool to actually align the uh, the pins as as I was putting it in. Okay, so I've got my zip sockets in there. I'm going to find a location that, that will suit my picket 2 for my uh, headers. So that arrow indicates uh, M clear. So that's where that pin's going to be. And I'm going to, sitting it like that. It's not in the way of anything. I can still get to these handles. And yeah, so it's not obstructing. So that's where I'm going to put my picket 2. Alright, so to start off with, I'm going to solder all these joints up and then go from there. I don't think I went into much detail on it earlier but the 28 pin uh, zip socket isn't required for this development board because the both the 40 pin picks like the 16F and 18Fs uh, and the 28 pin ones share the same programming pins if the uh, 28 pin ones are seated towards the top because your program data is the top one clocks the, uh, the lower one on the right here and then your uh, power supply pins are the same and memory clear on the other side so continuing on, I've already put one lead in it's for memory clear this is my picket 2 and you can follow the uh, the software package or the package that came with the picket 2 to find out what uh, output is for what but that arrow points towards uh, M clear and I'm just going to use a little cheat sheet really uh, this little adapter that I've made that I've shown in other tutorials so one's memory clear, two is positive, three is negative and following through to PGD and PGC they're my five pins that I need to wire up ok so I've already done memory clear which goes around to pin one on my 40 pin and 28 pin adapter and I've just simply folded it over on either side so that uh, I can solder all the uh, leads at the end in one hit. Now PGD which if I have a look at my board here is the fourth one over so memory clear is at the bottom because that's where the arrow lines up so if I go up four pins that will be PGD and PGD on the 40 pin so zip socket will be the uppermost one and I'll just bend those over as well so I'm going to follow that through for PGC which would be the one below it the uh, the two power supply pins and then all of them on the 18F as well now you can find out these pins just by looking at any PIC micro data sheet and just identifying which one each of the uh, pinouts are I've got more information on my site but I'm just going to go ahead and wire these up now ok as you can see I'm finished putting in all the wiring it looks quite confusing but it's very simple for each of these zip sockets I've simply hooked up memory clear positive, negative, PGD and PGC and the reason why I can't use the 18 pin with the 28 and 40 is because the 18 pin picks are shared or their, their lines of pin out is different to the other ones Alright, so now that's out of the way, I'm going to go through and I'm going to solder all of the uh, wire, wires that I've just bent over on the side and then solder the relevant pins on my zip sockets that I've used. Ok, so I've gone through and soldered all the wires that I've uh, put in on the other side. The uh, zip socket, I've soldered the relevant pins that are being used by the wires and just make sure you make a close inspection on all your uh, terminations to make sure that there's no wires overlapping and there's no wires that have been missed and the, there's a good solder fillet on all your joints. Okay, so I'm quite happy with that. Now for the, uh, for the final test is to actually uh, program uh, a pick of each type 
and to see if it works. This is the uh, Picker 2 software. Before you do a check communication test, make sure you select the right device family. So at the moment I've got a 16F Pick Micro in there. So I'm going to choose the mid range. And you can either use read or check communication. I'll use read for this one. And it should populate this window with all these random hex values. And that's the uh, the code that's on the Pick Micro at, at this point in time. So it's had no problems identifying the pick, which is that's the correct pick I've got inserted. And now I'm going to change it over to an 18F pick micro. So I've entered in a uh, 18F458, which is a 40 pin, into the same socket. So I've got to change the device family to pick 18F. And now when I select read, it'll know what pick device it is and be able to communicate with it successfully and here's the code on the PIC Micro. Uh, to take it one step further, you could create a program for each of the uh, PIC Micros and write it as well. So in this case, I've got one ready to go. Going to write to it and it's written and verified it successfully. Okay, so it's all pretty much finished. I've got a uh, pair of pliers here, just use any medium weight. If your uh, Picket 2 lead is running down and to the side, uh, this weight here will help keep the wire in a nice loop so it sits up nice and nice and vertical and it's not pulled to any direction and if you do run into any issues disconnect your pick oh sorry you pick it too and do uh, resistance checks from your uh, from your headers here to your zip sockets and that way you can identify if it is open circuit then you must have a, uh, a wire around the wrong way or something like that or even quite possibly a wire hasn't been uh, soldered correctly. Alright, so hopefully this has helped someone out and yeah, once you've built this you can program pretty much any PIC micro out there in the 16F and 18F range and yeah, have fun programming.